That's me. My name is Gabby. I came to this world nine years ago. Most of my puppy friends were used for racing too. Unless they were imperfect or couldn't go to the track, then I don't know what happens to them. I then was taken from my mum and family and brought to Nottingham to the Greyhound Stadium. I was pretty successful there. Most of my race dog competition was boys, but I held my own as a girl. I loved all the sights, sounds, smells of the stadium. A sensory explosion. I really enjoyed racing. Probably because I won so much. I was treated nicely, so I was happy. Being successful makes me happy. I've always been a lone wolf. I've always been an introvert. I've been trained to win. Me to win. I was a great racer. I won 14 races and came second 19 times, so pretty good, I think. I raced 50 times, so a lot of running in my lifetime. Because I was successful, I was well looked after. I worry sometimes about the others. I used to always wear a muzzle when I went out. I hated it, and I was allowed to run about when I was on a walk, but I was always on a lead. I was born in Ireland. You can see that from my green tattoo in my ear. It hurt like hell, but looks kind of cool now. They also gave me a chip so I couldn't go exploring. A lot of the time I was kept in. Not poor, but rough conditions. By the end, the state of my fur was worn, I wasn't looking my best, and my elbows were pretty scruffy. At one point, Jill was asked if I was kept in cardboard. No way, I will stick to my comfy sofa, thank you. I ended my race career when I was just over five. At some point, I met Mr. Wright. I had puppies, but I've been racing for a lot longer. Most dogs raced from just under a year to four, but I ended older. I must have been that good. It took me a while to find my home. I wasn't successful at some rescue centers as I came all the way from Nottingham to Petersfield, so a long journey, but it was worth the wait. When I first came here, I had never been in a house before. It was strange. The stairs were scary and I could always get up too, but never get the hang of coming down. But I got over it. It was strange sharing a house with people. I was six when I found Jill. It was a perfect match. We found a great friendship. I've been here for three years. I love being with my family. I love people from all walks of life. It doesn't matter if it's my family, strangers, friends, whatever. I just want to meet them and become part of their family. Oh, stairs, my old foe. The only time I'm excitable is when I'm about to go for a walk or there's something exciting on the walk. Otherwise, I just want to know that you're not far away so I can relax. I like to know there's food not far away too. Then I can just enjoy being with you. I just like to relax. Lying on my side, chilling, and saying hello to people. That's really about it. When Jill comes home, I'm always there to say hello. I don't jump up and down or anything. I just say, oh good, you're home, and stay close. I think me and Jill are pretty close to each other. I never thought I could get so close to a person, but we are both really loving to one another. Jill is part of my life. When I want to play, she's the one who I want to play with. Look at me! I want to have fun! I like people and people like me. And when they do, I will be very nice towards them without being over de de demonstrative to them. I, I don't like making people feel afraid. That's why I'm good at Jill's work. I'm not threatening and people like me. They 
like to know that I'm just there with them. I'm happy knowing there's some good food and a good walk to somewhere nice and somewhere cozy to sleep. That's all I want out of life. I like going to work. I get on well with the people and I get to lie on the floor for two and a half hours. <laughs> When Jill isn't here, I secretly go to lie on her bed. <laughs> That's the main thing I do. I don't like being left or seeing people I'm not sure about. Then you'll hear my whining. I always think she's gone forever. <laughs> Time seems different for me. She could be gone for an hour, but it feels like forever. I love being off the lead and muzzle. I never liked those things. When Jill took me off, she didn't know what I would do. I was just happy and I've been fine ever since. This place is very different from Nottingham and even more different from Ireland. Sometimes I wonder what my life would be like without racing, but then I think I wouldn't even be here. I really appreciate the work the Greyhound Trust do. We continue to support them. They helped look after me in the first place, and we go to local fundraising events, and I like the walks. I like to take part and show off. I sometimes feel like a racehorse. I love the feeling of running. See, with some dogs, I like saying hello, but others, I'm not interested. I enjoyed racing. I liked to win, and I was successful, so that helped. I wouldn't have done it if I didn't enjoy it, but that's the key. Being successful shaped my whole life. I love running in a nice, flat, open place. I enjoy going round and round and turning round in a circle, and running from one place to another. Oh, I really do enjoy it. If I could be anywhere, I would be somewhere where there's good countryside where I can play in. I'm pretty happy here. When I go to the kennels, I'm content, but I'm always pleased to see my family. That's the main thing. I like my fur. It used to be pretty rough, but it's a lot better now. <laughs> I'm defo and introvert because that's the way I was trained to be. I have to look after myself. I have to win. I am not a team worker. My favorite walk is Putnam Common. It's nice and sandy soil. It kind of reminds me of the racetrack. There are a lot of different smells. Things to climb up and down and I just really enjoy it there. I like my comfy bed. It's a lot better than cardboard. I'm always competitive. I find myself getting competitive about all I do. Even eating very quickly. It's a race in itself. I do sometimes think about my previous owners, but I love Jill most of all. This is my home. I don't like all dogs being close to me. I'm not scared of being attacked, but we had a past experience where a dog nipped me. So I am wary of some dogs, but most of the time I'm good. Hey, handsome. I don't race with other dogs. I win too easy. But when I see a dog run after a ball, I would run after him. I don't want the ball. I just like playing and being competitive. To be honest, when racing with dogs, I know if I don't know them, then I'm not interested. Yes, I want to be friends with the other dogs. Therefore, I play with them. And therefore, doing that, you're doing some racing, chasing, and all that kind of thing. Let's catch up with Jill. I don't like being too far from her side. I enjoy myself, but I always want to catch up. At the end of the walk, when I'm tired, I want to be as close as possible to her. Hmm, what's that smell? I smell other dogs. It smells like a fox. I want to know what's going on. See, I like sniffing the ground and the foliage when I'm out for a walk. Ah, uh, open ground. Now I want to run. When I'm running, I just like the feel of the air running past me as I run. From one place to another. Then I smell something which gets my attention. Then I stop. 
I love Jill. I just like to put my nose against her hand and say, here I am. She loves me too.